Hello, my name is Harold Smith. About a week ago, Joe Biden stood before the American people on national TV and told us that our country was a racist country. I personally took offense to that comment and really thought it was disgusting. He based his comment on the murder of George Floyd, which was a terrible uh, murder. And uh, it was processed through the Justice Department and uh, the police officer who was involved uh, in George Floyd's murder was convicted of depraved indifference. And uh, so the justice worked, this person needed uh, to be tried. He was tried and found guilty. And through this incident, Joe Biden would have you to believe that thousands and thousands of black men have been murdered by police. <clears throat> that is not true. The actual statistics, which is recorded by, uh, reported by the Washington Post, says that in 2019 and 2020, there were 30 black uh, people who were unarmed that were killed by the police. In the same two years, 2019, 2020, there were 50 unarmed white people killed by police. Those are the actual statistics. And uh, this is out of 80,000 police throughout our nation. This doesn't even come close to being an epidemic or systemic racism as Joe Biden would have you to believe. And uh, it's time that we stand up and we speak the truth. And I'm 78 years old and I cannot recall not one single incident uh, of racism in my relationship to any black person. Uh, I was uh, in the workforce for over 40 years I worked with many black people and I can say that in every situation we had a great relationship and they were good employees and uh, unfortunately today we are governed by identity politics where the goal is to separate us and divide us and to create hate among us by people like Joe Biden who want to divide this country all for political power. Uh, statistics tell us that uh, in 2012, surveys tell us that about 70 people, 70% 70 of, of American people believe that we had good real race relationships. Now that percentage is down to about 40%. And over 50% believe that we have bad race relations. And it's all driven by identity politics wanting to divide us, to create hate among us. And again, it's all for political gain and political power. And it's driven by a media that uh, supports this politics and these negative reactions. And it is destroying our country.
And it's time that we as Americans stand up against this. There are solutions. We do have problems. And I'm sure that there are some who are racist in this country, but it is not the majority. And uh, I look at my own family, and uh, I don't know of a single instance uh, among my children, my uh, grandchildren, where racism has been an issue. And it is time that we took a stand. There, there are solutions to these problems. We need to focus on solutions, better education, um, equal opportunity, not this equity that Joe Biden is calling for, where you put one group uh, favorable actions and you take away from another group. That's what he calls equity. But our nation is based on equality of opportunity, not equity. Uh, it's a despicable policy, and it's a despicable lie. And it's unfortunate that our president is pushing this lie. And I call it a lie because it is a lie. And we must stand up against it. This is Harold Smith, and I approve of this message. Have a great day.